Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. It is a beautiful day down here in Florida, and it's about 7 a.m. And right now I'm just getting the Fishaholic rig uh, rigged and ready, and I'm throwing some ice in the cooler here. And the plan is to head out on the boat today with my girl Karina, and it's kind of a later-ish start. I would like to be out there for first light, but you know, sometimes that's just what happens when you go out and catch bait from like 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. And she was a trooper and helped out finding the bait and catching uh, some of the crabs, which I want to take out to, on the ocean if it's calm enough and see if there's any hungry permit or maybe some nice snapper that want to eat them. And we're probably going to bounce around from the ocean and the Indian River Lagoon and maybe after the ocean if we can make it out there because, um, you know, I still have to go check it out. And sometimes the weather forecast here in Florida is spot on. Other times, not so much. You might head out there and it's a lot rougher than it's forecasted to be but we're supposed to only have like two foot swells and uh, the winds are going to probably be like five to ten you know, up until like one or two p.m so that should be calm enough but if it isn't then we'll just stay in the indian river lagoon but if it is we'll fish it for a couple hours a few hours and then head into the indian river lagoon and possibly then just try and target some snook and or some triple tail if we could find them so stay tuned i'll see you guys at the water We made it to our first spot here on the ocean. And unfortunately, I think it's like 11.30 a.m. because after finishing to get ready with the boat, uh, I made breakfast, had to go to the bathroom, then on the way to the ramp, had to get some gas. And then once we launched, I spent like probably 40 minutes to an hour catching some mullets from like six inches to like 10, 12 inches. And let me just grab the bait net here. And it also took like 45 minutes just to get here to this first spot. So it took some time to kind of get here today. And I'm gonna rig Karina up first with just one of these crabs. So you can see here, I'm just gonna hook them right in this little soft spot there, just like that. We're gonna throw them over and Karina's setup is just gonna be like a fish finder rig with this egg sinker, a little uh, bead to protect the braid knot and a barrel swivel. And I've got about like 15 foot of 40 pound fluoro here. And baby, what you wanna do each time you put on a fresh bait is just drop it all the way down to the bottom and you kind of want to do it slowly. Otherwise, if you do it quick, then the crab might uh, twist up along the main line. And it's only 34 feet here. So it shouldn't take long to get it to the bottom. And once you get it on the bottom, you can just leave it right on the bottom actually, but just put it in free spool like that, all right? Thank you. You're good to go. Catch a fish! <laughs> and for myself, I'm gonna try rigging up a crab just on this little quarter ounce jig head. Oh, that one's perfect right there. All right, let's catch him. current right now is going from north to south so to get this bait down into the strike zone I'm gonna just cast it up current and as it drifts it's gonna 
get down near the bottom, hopefully. Oh, no way. There's a bunch of Jack Creval right here. Let's try tossing a mullet at him quick. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was easy. He yeah, he ate it. Got him. <sighs> Heck yeah. That was so cool. This water is so clear right here that I was easily able to sight fish him there. Here he comes. All right, you can scoop him with the net. Nice, baby. Just bring them right up here on the deck. Thank you very much. It looks like they're still hanging out right up off the bow here, so you'll have to get the next one. This is a chunky one. Look how fat his belly is. Like, he's a thick one. Oh, and look where the hook got him. Oh. Not even like inside the mouth. It probably came out of his mouth and just so happened to Luckily, get him right there. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He'll live to fight another day. Good work. Thank you, babe. All right, unfortunately, it seems like the jack school kind of moved off after I got that last one. But I'm sure they'll be back, so I'm just going to rig up another mullet and have it at the ready so Karina can get the next one. And I'll also just throw it out behind the boat a little ways and put the reel in free spool. All right, that should be good. All right, and now let's drop my crab down again on a slightly heavier jig head. Oh, is this a fish or what is this? Yeah, I got something on here. Whoa. <laughs> on the drop, something ate the crab. Oh, he just popped off right there. I think it broke me off, whatever it was. Oh my gosh. Something just ate the mullet right there next to the boat. Oh, got it. Oh man. I reeled it in a little closer because there was a lot of weeds and I just never let it back out. And uh, baby, you're sleeping? You got a fish on here, or I got one on. This, this jack literally ate it just like uh, three feet from the back of the engine. That's crazy. Another jack curveball. Look, there's another one following him. All right, another fun size one. There we go. Got this one also, like right on the outside of the mouth. At least there's a lot of jacks around here to kind of keep things interesting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. they got him. There we go. Uh, uh, 
big jack on here. Whew. Oh my gosh. There was like three, four sharks that just took care of them. As soon as I hooked that jack, they had them. Dang. Hey, they're coming right at us. Hey, it's your turn. Here, stand up, a little up on the on the front there. Oh, look, there's some right here. Just cast it straight out there. There's so many. Nice, that's good enough. There he is. Real, real, real. He's on there. Oh, nice. If you need a hand, I can hold it. Thank you. All right, keep reeling now. All right, now it should be easier. <clears throat> He's on there still. Oh, you're getting hit by sharks. Oh my God, look at them all. Look at all the sharks. Look at them. Oh, get out of here. Get her! <laughs> reel! Oh, no. Reel it in! Reel it in. Oh, I got the head! No! <laughs> That's all you got left. Oh my god, that was horrible! Let's see how heavy the head is. Just the head by itself is 14 and a half pounds. Yeah, I was afraid that was gonna happen. Now they are gonna have a lunch. There's got to be at least like 15 or 20 sharks swarming this area and they're going to enjoy that. Oh my god. Uh, I mean I'm sure they would eat them but like I've caught sharks on kudos but they like Jack Creval or whatever's easier I think. It was easier for them to get. I think I just got eight. There he is. Something decent on the crab. Now this might be a permit. Oh. All right, well, since we lost that last fish, most likely to a shark, and I've got this mullet rigged up and a massive school of big jacks cruising right at me, I might as well just try and get one of them. Wow, I think I got a fish, but he ate it subsurface, babe, just like your fish. There he is. That was fast. Yep. Now I'm going to open the bale and let him swim away from possibly where all these sharks are. So I see the big school of fish just right up ahead here, and my fish is, is swimming with that school right now, which is good. 
So if I keep following them, maybe eventually I'll be able to pull them up, you know, when we're away from the sharky area. All right, now I'm like straight up and down. Oh. Hopefully we can get them up here on the surface and in the net. Dang, son. Oh, this fish doesn't want to give up. Here we go. Get that head in the net. Perfect. Good work, babe. You need help lifting it in? Yep. Whew. That's a donkey jack curveball right there. Thanks, babe. Whew. Finally, we got a big one. All right, let's get a weight on her. She's a little over 24 pounds. I'll get a quick length on this big jack. She's like a hair shy of 42 inches. Now, what I'm gonna do is put the trolley in forward. We're gonna drag this fish for a couple minutes because it was a real long battle and then we'll send her back it kind of worked basically hooking the fish and then letting the fish run and run and run and kind of keep up with the school that the fish was hanging out in and then you know i just kind of kept following her with the electric motor until i was able to pull her up She goes. <clears throat> ah, man. There she goes. All right, pretty sweet that I got that larger one finally in the boat. And now Karina has got a live mullet on. We got it, the same school is swimming right at us now. And I'm gonna re-rig um, for a permit. And hopefully, I'll, uh, don't fall, please. Oh, don't hook me either. All right, that's good enough. Those jacks will, oh, well, they'll swim. They'll swim right at that bait and they'll, they'll eat it. Yeah, I'm gonna get another jig head on and see if we can get that permit that we're after. I'm pretty sure that that last fish that ate our crab was a permit, but I, I think it just got sharked or I had a leader knot failure. I'm not really sure. So let's keep it going. Oh, oh look at that. They're trying to eat your bait. I think he has it, he has it, he has it. Just start reeling. Oh, the shark's already chasing him. Open your bail, open your bail, let your fish swim. Let him swim away. There was a shark already on him. Yeah. All right, close the bail now. And I'll try, I'll try chasing the fish wherever he is. He's right underneath us. <laughs> Come up here. It's a big fish. All right, let me get the net. The bite from this fish was really awesome. And I think the fish is still in one piece. Karina's really hoping it is. <laughs> She wants to get it. She wants to get at least one picture of one fish today. That's whole. Almost there. Oh, I see him. We got color.
There you go, keep pulling and reeling. Oh no. I think you may have gotten cut by the shark there or the knot could have failed. Let's see. Shark, shark, oh, shark. it was most likely a shark then. All right, it's unfortunate Karina lost that last one, but there's many more jacks around in here, so she'll probably hook up on another one. And I want to still get that permit that I believe is down there. Oh my God, look at all these jacks. Your mullet's gonna get smoked, you know that? Oh my gosh, look at them all. Look at them all. The food is, oh. You're on, you're on, babe. Just grab the rod, grab the rod and start reeling. You're on again, no time for a break. There he is. <laughs> That's a real big fish. God, I can't even um, get the crab down there long enough to even try for a permit. This one might be a smaller one. Yeah. Real, real, real. Or it's a cuda, maybe. Awkward to hold it. You got it. That might have been a shark. Yeah. Yeah. There's the shark. <laughs> he got you. All right. Little update. It is time for lunch now, and unfortunately, no permit. Karina here is cooking up the chicken tenders. Oh no! no. <laughs> just just dump it dump it on top of the chicken tenders, and we've got the Chick Fil A sauce, the erupting from the bottle. Oh. <laughs> it would have been nicer to have some fresh fish to throw on the skillet, but. Can't cook them if you don't catch them. So once we're done devouring these chicken tenders, I think I'm gonna drop down one more crab for a little bit longer, but then we're gonna race back to the inlet and go up inside and do some pot hopping for some triple tail. And last week I, I helped Karina get her first ever triple tail. It was about the length of my hand here. And we only did it for like five, 10 minutes while we were like snook fishing. So I'm thinking if we try it for like a couple hours and actually find some, maybe we can get a keeper. So that'll be the goal after this. Fishaholics, well, I've got a big update for you. And as you can see, the lighting conditions are completely different. The sun actually just set and it's starting to get dark out here. And after spending like two, almost two and a half hours zipping all over the Indian River Lagoon, looking for crab trap buoys and only finding three, whereas normally in like a, a specific area uh, of like only like a mile, uh, usually there's like 50 pots and generally that that's where you find some triple tail today Like I couldn't find any pots like it seems like a lot of the guys that made their crab fishing pulled their pots for Whatever reason maybe the season is closed. I don't know But I also checked some pilings uh, that were out there on the river and still no triple tail. So oh, oh Karina What do you got there? She she had had the last bait out right here and she just got nailed by something nice play it nice and easy i'm gonna get the net just pull them up right here oh what do you got here oh look at that <laughs> she got us a keeper snapper <laughs> hope all hope wasn't lost was I, I i pretty much gave up on it Oh. Look, that's a, that is a nice snapper. Check this out, guys. That's cool. 
look at that nice mangrove snapper right there that crushed just a little pinfish all right let's get to see the length on this fish 15 16 a little over 17 inches Phew, that is a nice mangrove snapper there Well, I think that is a wrap for this video. We got the snapper on ice and in the box. And after the failed the triple tail attempt, we basically just came inside here near the inlet. And, you know, I fished to the bitter end with the baits that I was fishing with, but Karina really fished to the bitter end with the last little bait and it paid off. And she caught the tastiest fish of the day, her new personal best mangrove snapper. So good work, baby. And we're gonna take that home. I'm gonna flay it up. We're gonna have a nice uh, tasty dinner tonight, which is really gonna hit the spot after uh, a long day on the water. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And like always, baby, you gotta do it. Live to fish, fish to live. And now pound the camera. <laughs>